San Antonio prepares for its new site and release program. Firefighters and the city of San Antonio agree to extend contract talk mediation. And DeMar DeRozan is fined $25,000. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Monday, April 22nd. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez says his office is almost ready to launch a program that would allow police officers to cite, rather than arrest, people accused of some low-level misdemeanors, including possession of small amounts of marijuana. While Gonzalez originally set up a goal of getting the program up and running with the San Antonio Police Department and Bear County Sheriff's Office by Fiesta, there have been a number of issues his office had to tackle before the official launch of the site and release policy. Under site and release, people accused of certain low-level misdemeanors such as theft, possession of a few ounces of marijuana or driving with an invalid license are issued citations rather than arrested. In some ways, the citation is similar to a traffic ticket. Cite and release can also be paired with programs that divert offenders' cases from the regular court system, making the process shorter and faster. Currently, someone accused of a Class A or B misdemeanor is arrested, handcuffed, taken to jail, and booked. For low-level crime, defendants can typically bond out within a couple of hours, but advocates say the person could lose a day of work or school, and in some cases have his or her car impounded. There's also a permanent criminal record which can hinder a person's ability to get a job or housing. Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez says the new site and release program will apply to cases involving possession of less than four ounces of marijuana, criminal mischief, theft, theft of service like leaving a restaurant without paying the bill, and driving with an invalid license. Graffiti, which is eligible under state law for site and release, will not be included. San Antonio officials and fire union representatives have agreed to extend their contract talks in mediation. The two sides met Wednesday and Thursday in closed-door talks with former Texas Supreme Court Justice Deborah Hankinson, where they agreed to extend the talks for another 15 days. While the extension is allowed under state law, it's unclear how many times the two sides will meet during that span. In 10 public meetings, the bargaining teams have failed to make substantive progress on the most pressing issues in the contract, like wages and health care, and agreed to mediation in hopes of making more headway. The San Antonio Professional Firefighters Association has been without a contract since 2014, though most of that deal's provisions remain in place under a so-called evergreen clause. About four years ago, the United Way of San Antonio and Bear County decided it needed to change the way it doles out millions each year to area nonprofit organizations, with a goal of making dollars more explicitly address problems that plague the city and make partner agencies better account for the impact of their work. Now there's an official plan, described as a strategic realignment of the United Way, in which $15 million will flow to 50 groups for the fiscal year 2020. The funding targets early childhood education, student success, and adults and families, with money for families and adults focusing on family violence, economic mobility for low- and moderate-income adults, and adults with disabilities and their caregivers. The shift comes as the United Way has seen its annual campaign donations decline over the last three years, with the most recent drive netting $46 million. Under the new funding model, some nonprofits got more money than last year, while others received less and some no funding at all, with a dozen new organizations joining the partner roster under the improved guidelines. And the Spurs' 117-103 loss to Denver in Game 4 on Saturday is now a little more costly for guard DeMar DeRozan, who has been fined $25,000 for what the NBA calls recklessly throwing a ball toward a game official and into the spectator stands. 
The incident occurred with about five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter when referee Scott Foster whistled DeRozan for an offensive foul against Denver's Gary Harris. DeRozan responded by whipping the ball in the general vicinity of Foster, who was standing near the sideline at midcourt. The referee issued DeRozan a technical foul and ejected him from the game. Following the game, DeRozan said he felt frustration with being called for an offensive foul, a decision he thought was a bad call. The Western Conference Best of Seven series is tied at 2-2 two and, two and resumes Tuesday with Game 5 in Denver. And that's your daily San Antonio Express briefing for Monday, April 22nd. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.